It is not necessarily challenges. What what I would say is uh, shift in in skill set and and culture. Uh, Rand traditionally has been very centric about uh, 3GPP and standardization and whatnot. Uh, users or operators are generally used to getting a solution from one supplier and deploy it, and, and somebody have responsibility of architecting it and, and making sure the performance uh, is is good. But with Open RAN, there is uh, you know skill set needs to be changed. You know, uh, operator. Uh, engineers has to be capable of of understanding software architecture, cloud technology, and the hardware design. So there is a little bit of a, a skill upliftment that is required, and uh, I would not necessarily call it a challenge. But operator has to play an anchor role in in case of ORAN, where where an operator is in the driving seat and driving all the suppliers to work together and make sure that the software lifecycle and and all the solution is coming together. Sometimes these kind of challenges are addressed by system integrators, and you know, sometimes the, the ORAN supplier itself is taking responsibility. It's, 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 it's. I, I see this being addressed as different business model across all operators and, and businesses, uh, which is not necessarily a challenge, but I, I would definitely say it's a it's a difference from doing traditional RAN and ORAN. We are at the beginning of a journey. So when you are at the beginning of the journey, of course, there is potential interoperability issues. There is the technology that is promising something, but it will take some time to implement. It takes some time to understand all the areas of improvement and to make the right choices. So it's a journey. We are at the beginning of the journey. The most important is that all the main actors are totally engaged in making it happen from the consumers, which are the operators, and the vendors like us, like the NEPs, everybody's all in. So I'd argue that Open RAN isn't primarily a technology challenge at this stage. The whole point of Open RAN is to change how operators interact with their RAN supply chain. If you really want choice, then you need to do your homework on what your options are and which partners are gonna work best for you. If you really want agility, you need to be set up for making multiple decisions and procurements a year, rather than big bang deals and mega RFPs once every five or six years. Operators also need to decide what role they want to play in this. You can be a systems integrator, you can look to your suppliers to come with ecosystems of their own, and have the operator take more of a program manager role. Um, there are technical challenges, of course there are. One, one key area is increased granularity and volume of data that's now available from the network via open interfaces. How to manage and interpret that and act on information in both real-time and non-real-time. That's certainly a, a, a challenge. Integration and interoperability are, are going to be challenges at the outset of any new technology, and an open run is no different to that. It's not plug and play, unfortunately, at this point in time, although it is getting better. At Samsung, we've worked with over 30 ecosystem partners, including our partners, HP, to build predefined, pre-integrated telco grade solutions that provide the right level of performance and reliability for our customers so that they can reduce and, and mitigate all of the interoperability challenges that the first movers had when they deployed VRAN and allowed them to get to market that much faster. I think another challenge you have is people and processes. You know, the people are being used to, or engineers have been used to deploying on, you know, hardware-based solutions. They're now having to be retrained to work on open software-based solutions. And then you need to look at the processes. You know, we need to reimagine and rethink those processes in order to get the absolute most out of these open software systems.